All credit for this build goes to Mr. Crayfish, and his link will be in the description. Hey, what's up guys? It's Taylor Pride here, back on the tutorial world. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a payment door in Minecraft. Uh, this is another one of my zombie contraptions that I use on all my zombies maps. As you can see, you throw in seven, the door opens, and it stays open. This is what the redstone looks like down underneath. And so, without further ado, I'll get into the tutorial. So you're going to need a 5 by 6 by 6 deep area. So if, because I'm on super flat, uh, I only have a certain amount of blocks to work with. So the white blocks above you will be where your floor is. Okay, so you're going to want to come here and build up two blocks. Place a chest on top and then place two hoppers, three hoppers, sorry, three hoppers on top of that. Then you're going to want to come down and place a block coming out from your chest. Add two more for a total of three. Place a redstone comparator on top and then two pieces of redstone. Come to the back, add another block of your choice. And on top of that, you're going to want to put a redstone torch. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to come down underneath, add two blocks right here, and then add one more out, and then add one, two, right there. For this part, put a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top, then a piece of redstone dust, or a redstone torch, and then two more pieces of redstone dust. Just like that. On this side, add a block two blocks and then add a redstone repeater going into that block, a piece of redstone dust on top, add a block here with a redstone torch on top of it. What that does is it locks that middle hopper so nothing can get through unless it's powered. Then you come up top here, exactly in that area, exactly as I do, and you come down here and add a small U-shape of blocks going over to your sticky piston and add a redstone trail going over to your uh, redstone torch. Make sure you add a block on top of your sticky piston. Next we're going to add the payment system. Um, you're going to need a random block of your choice. All you need is four random blocks. So I'll just show it to you right here. Basically what you're going to want to do is place one block in each of the rightmost slots and make sure you only place one, just like that. And then in order for this to work, you're going to need to place 12 of your payment item. I use Rotten Flesh because I build a lot of zombies maps and that's on obviously what you get. So if you add 12 Rotten Flesh, that makes it so your door will cost 7. Um, if you make it 13, your door will cost 6. And so on and so forth. The higher the number, the less the cost. As you can see, 7 flesh will cause that to drop. Now in order to reset this, you actually have to come down and manually take out your flesh just like that. So now that we know that everything is working properly we can go ahead and build up with our redstone torches in order to power the top part of the door. Now I do mess up here if I remember correctly I ended up doing this wrong But then I I realized after I did it. Basically, I did too much. I shouldn't have deleted those two. Basically, you go up to the piston level, add two blocks, and then just add two redstone on top. And that will go ahead and make it work for you. 
Alright, so I come back over here and I test again, just to make sure. And voila. And so the final thing you're going to want to do is make sure you build up around this area. I usually build over the hopper just like this. That way you can still throw stuff into it, but you can't just walk through the wall. Also hide your redstone torches inside of a wall. Um, I like this because it's very compact and you can hide it very easily and you don't have to have three wide walls. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.